You know, I don't really know how to describe this video. It's not gonna be directly train related. We're not looking at one. I mean, it'll go with the trains. It'll sit on one of these basically at all times. But uh, today, ladies and gentlemen, we're looking at something a little different. Today, we have the Super Mario Brothers movie van or the uh, van that the Mario Brothers drove in the uh, more recent movie. So yeah, what I just said. And I'm not gonna lie, I saw this on Twitter, I think, uh, when it first came out, or a little bit before I found it in stores, and I just had to have it. Every time I would go to Walmart, Target, Kroger, I was scouring the toy section for these things, and I finally found it, I think, at Kroger, at the back of the toy section. Uh, somebody was, like, hiding it, I think. And too bad for you, because I found it. Do better next time. So today we are going to be taking a look at opening this, uh, I guess fitting it to a flatbed. And we also have these. Uh, some of you guys have noticed the Cars Mini Racers we have over on the layout. Today we have these uh, little surprise egg things to open and I guess add to that little collection. Now, technically I did have three of these, but I gave one to a family member. So uh, right now we're down to two. It is what it is. I actually didn't know they had codes on the bottom of them. and. Uh, one of them had repeat codes anyway, so it, it, not too big of a deal. So yeah, today, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be looking at things for the layout and for the trains, but uh, I guess not the trains directly, uh, at least yet. Diesel Tint here. Say hi, buddy. All right, that's enough. That, that's enough. All right, let's just jump into it. Let's start with this Super Mario Brothers movie van. Now, I was initially going to leave this uh, new in box, but to be fair... I just think it looked too cool on a flatbed to uh, pass that opportunity up. And here is the box it comes in. We've got the Luigi and Mario from the movie right there. We've got uh, the Super Mario Brothers movie logo there in the middle, the Hot Wheels logo there at the top. And of course, the very large uh, traditional window to uh, see the entire thing, or at least uh, the back front and this side and top of this thing. I mean, it looks like the back is pretty boring. There's literally nothing here except a bunch of copyright stuff, repeat logos. There's really not a lot to it. It's just a uh, very traditional Hot Wheels packaging. It's about what's inside. That's that's what matters. It's about what's inside, ladies and gentlemen. So let's just let's just open it up and see about it. I'm gonna try to be gentle here. I mean, it's not probably gonna go back in the box. These things normally aren't. Yeah, look at that. These things normally are too uh, salvageable once they're opened anyway. Look at that. Whatever. We're just gonna we're just let's just get it out of there. There we go. All right, ladies and gentlemen. We have the Super Mario Brothers movie van. And let's clear this area up a little bit. All right, so this is what we're looking at. It's, uh, okay, this is this is adorable. It's got a pretty nice, uh, almost matte yellow finish. It's not very shiny. Um, it's got, on this side, as we can see, Mario and the uh, Super Mario Brothers plumbing uh, writing or logo there. On the other side, there is Luigi. And uh, that, that's, that's pretty damn cool. The top has some uh, little ladders and stuff like that. By the way, sorry if you heard that noise. That's Rico. He's eating. You know what? Let's go say hi. Let's go intrude. Dang, that boy eating. What are you doing, Miss Rosie? You're as big as your water cup. That is that is crazy to me. All right, we're back. Where was I? So basically, yeah, it's got this very nice matte yellow finish. We've got some details here on the top. We've got a gray pipe, I think, there on the top. We've got a red ladder, which, you know, admittedly could be better, but this is a $5 Hot Wheels car. So, uh, I mean, for that and keeping that in mind, it's pretty nice. Now, it's kind of hard to tell, but it does seem like there's some detail uh, in that cab area. I can see a steering wheel and the uh, windows are somewhat translucent, but the back here is painted in in silver, which is a little interesting. We've got some nice little details there at the front. We've got a little, but what does the bumper say? Oh, look at that. The mo Huh. The bumper actually says Mario Bros or Mario Bro. That's awesome. And that is on both sides. Okay, that's pretty dope. Yeah, it's pretty basic. It's literally just a small yellow van, but it, it's nice. And it will look nice on any layout, any collection. It'll be neat. And does it fit on the flatbed? Yes, it does. Ladies and gentlemen, straight from New York. Look at that. All right, that's that's definitely going to be a blast having on the layout. That is, that is so cool. You know, I'm thinking eventually I'll upgrade this thing. And by that, I mean... You know, probably take off this ladder, give it one that looks a bit more detailed. I'll uh, hopefully give it new windows so you can actually see inside the thing. And I believe they also make little figures uh, from the Mario movie, like a little Luigi, Mario, Peach, stuff like that. They'd be cool to go inside of here. Not exactly sure. Yeah, these things aren't the easiest to open normally, as we can see there. But 
you know, I might give it a shot. We'll see, we'll see. That's all, that's all for a later video. That's pretty much all there is to that. Expect to see it on flatbeds in the future. And now that leaves us these things, these little surprise eggs. Now, I'm not gonna lie, my Cars Miniatures collection is kind of horrible. Currently, I have three, technically four, but I don't know where one of them is. I have a little Lightning McQueen. I have a Ramon, which also came from a surprise thing. And I have a Chick Hicks. I also have a King, but that's the one that's lost, so. Oops. Now, as pitiful as this may be, today we will be adding to it with these two. And as we can see here, they are, I guess they're from Cars on the Road. They're basically prehistoric cars, and I'm not going to lie. Haven't seen it. I don't know. I, I think it's a short, but I, I haven't even seen that short. Now, again, there are QR codes on the bottom of these things. I think McQueen is one, Mater's two. I'm doing my best to avoid looking at them. Uh, I'm pretty sure I already know what one of these is anyway, since uh, one of them, the one I opened before was a McQueen, and uh, I gave that to a family member. Again, pretty sure one of these is another one of those, and I know, is it an eight? We're just gonna look, whatever. Where's it at? Yeah, this is an eight, I think. Yeah, so I, I know I didn't get Mater, but we have another McQueen, so at least there's that. And there we go. Let's get this one out of here. What is this? This is a, no, I thought it was gonna be a little catalog thing. Nah, it's just a warning sheet. You don't need that. Uh, this is the little toy. It's wrapped in this little paper as we can see. Oh my God. Oh, mine looks a little weird. It's sparkly and has odd paint on it. I don't think the last one was like that. Yeah, no, the last one was definitely not like this. It was not sparkly and didn't have little specks of blue and gold on it, but yeah, there's that, ladies and gentlemen. We have the Dino McQueen. He's kind of got this little, uh, he looks like he's sick. He's got like a disgruntled face, as we can see there. The spoiler area is pretty taupe, I'm not gonna lie. He's got this little wood, uh, almost tiki-like detailing. He's pretty weathered up, I'm not gonna lie. I don't think the last one was like this at all, either. So I don't know what makes this one so special, or maybe if this one is special, but it's got this shiny paintwork, little extra details. Pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. And here he is next to that normal McQueen. He's got that giant forehead. Pretty cool. All right, so we've got that one done. Let's go ahead and jump into this second one. Zoom out a little bit and, all right, let's see here. Yeah, that doesn't look like a, what is this? I know it's not Mater, who are you? Who are you, what are you? I'm so confused. I don't know who or what this is. Again, I haven't seen the uh, on the road stuff, but I, it, I think it's a van. Yeah, that's definitely a van that's been made into a rhinoceros or rhinoceros-esque dinosaur thing. I don't know. I don't know. That's uh, that's cool, I guess. Now, this one isn't as saturated as the Mario van, but it's also got this uh, matte yellow finish. We've got some gray windows there on the side, this big nose or horn that extends from the front there, and this little, I want to say bone-like top. I'm pretty sure that's what that is. It's got some little teeth that come out from the bottom there. Yeah, nothing really too special, but it's unique. It'll be a cool little uh, NPC character to have on the layout, I guess, which is what these all basically serve as. But now we have these two to add to that mini collection. And this, ladies and gentlemen, has been my mass random unboxing for stuff to go with the trains rather than the trains themselves. Not gonna lie, this one was probably my favorite. This is so dope. It was cool to see the other side of this instead of just the Luigi one. The Luigi one is my favorite side though. Luigi's my favorite Mario brother. That's just me. That's just, I'm just saying, just putting that out there. All right, let's go to the layout. Let, let's let's see these in action. Action, whatever, come on. All right, so we got these twerps over here at the station. I guess they're just kind of hanging out, doing nothing, looking at the wings on the table like the broke boys they are. And then over here on top of the uh, roller coaster mountain, we have the prehistoric guys. We've got McQueen chilling on top of that uh, I guess cave or tunnel there and the other guy is next to the castle with top of right up there so everybody's basically got a home now including the Mario van which now sits in this little flatbed right behind Wilbur who's uh, gonna pull him around for us now there was one unforeseen little uh, setback there as you can see we have a, a couple pieces of plastic card which are lifting that thing up just slightly yeah it's a little tall uh, didn't expect that but Hey, at least it'll work now.
Either, either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out.